rights activist Aisha Yesufu has been cyberbullied and attacked by Muslim fanatics over her active involvement in the hashtag NSAS. The 45-year-old activist who was a co-convener of the Bring Back Her Guest BBOG movement has been labelled colourful names and told to remove her hijab because she is not following Islamic tenets. Aisha took to Twitter to share screenshots of some of the insults she has received from Muslim faithfuls. Sharing a Twitter thread, she wrote, This is a thread of a few screenshots of fellow Muslims who have told me to remove my hijab. It is not religion for them. It is oppression of women and they are not able to deal with one who refuses to be oppressed. And these are some of the screenshots. It says here from a Iskuburi, he laughed, drag queen, drag queen wearing hijab that is good, may cracking. Okay, just remove the hijab and join your people, hypocrites. Another says here that say, okay, mother of hoodlums, gangster, yahoo boys, lesbians, and gay, we will never forgive you. Remove your hijab. Well, uh, you need to remove that uh, integrity called hijab as you don't have the credence to be able to use it. People that wear hijab are modest and honored. When will you have a good time to be a human? When are we going to focus on the corruption under Buhari's government? I think she now replied that particular person. Uh, another one says here that uh, next time if you want to do something on Islamic, you remove the hijab and go ahead to avoid embar uh, embarrassment. As a woman, protest is not yours. As a woman, protest is not yours. You only belong to kitchen, resting room and the other room and this type of Protest is on Islamic. Okay, uh, Aisha Yusufu now tweeted again. I think that was in February. She said, okay, yesterday I spoke to my sister-in-law. She said, now that a minister has witnessed the attack, they, they will all understand the seriousness and begin to do something about it. She did not understand the extent of falsehood and propaganda this government is capable of. And another one, who is a, who is a Toyo C. Ogun Moye? says that uh, madam show us proof and stop lying you should remove that hijab please stop dishonoring that hijab with your lies pathetic liar okay those are the things that uh, they are really telling her you know you know they have said that you know uh on is is on islamic to protest and when this woman was doing all manner of things against good luck jonathan and you know don't even forget that uh, this man this woman is from she's from a draw state so automatic, automatically she's from the south south and good luck jonathan is from the south south and she did all the odd she could do because what was going on there was not good so it was not as if uh, maybe oh this and this and that the people who are hypocrites are the ones who are calling her names you know i could remember this man was telling the the northerners the uh what is his name adamu gaba the one that was supposed to contest for presidential whatever in 2019 you know one of the people that uh, wanted to represent the youth you know we have seen what he has been doing of late and a lot of people said oh thank god that this guy we were not deceived are they being okay the young people were given opportunity to even contest that time people would have just like oh yes this guy you know is going to be a very refined person but thank god it didn't happen because those are the people that would have been even worse than the so these so-called uh, older politicians and you can imagine the kind of a uh, mindset the kind of his, his own mentality so uh they have come to say oh that man the gaba adamu says that uh, oh irrespective of what what Buhari is doing, but because it's from their side, and I, I think I need to look for that video. There's a lady that challenged him from the north, also. So now you are telling them that, uh, irrespective of anything, they should just bear it, you know. That is why I, I you know, from the screenshots, uh, from uh, some, some, from some of the people that uh, really, you know, uh, true jab at her, saying that, uh, oh, she belongs to the kitchen. No wonder that is their mentality. That's why uh, Buhari could tell Aisha that uh, she should, she should not talk. You know, it's like this, uh, I don't know, at least from, from experience now, we now see that uh, it's like those people who are called Aisha, they are very, very vocal. Because even the president's wife, something is really, uh, you know, pinning that woman down. Because she's just like that. She's just like, she speaks, but, you know, I don't know, maybe some circumstances beyond her control. You know, they are trying to suppress her. They are trying to pin her down. She has said a lot of things. And I don't think, you know, to be fair with uh, the president's wife, Aisha Buari, 
there's nothing that will happen at the end of the day because a lot of insinuations have been going around. So even if at all, all those insinuations, you know, come out to be true, I'm not sure, I don't think it would be fair for Nigerians to even <laughs> blame her because she has been able to say a lot of things. She has spoken in parables. She has said all manner of things. She has challenged the power that be, even the Kabbalah. But I just believe that she just wants to, you know, try to calm down. But she has already made a lot of statements that people should be able to even really understand what she was even talking about. So it's like uh, these people called Aisha, they are very, very bold, at least from the two people that we have seen. And that was why the president was saying, the body was saying, oh, yeah, you belong to the kitchen. What an insult. Belong to the kitchen where? So those who are timid, they are, is very, is very, they are very, very uncomfortable with what is happening. Telling her that uh, she's the mother of this, she's the mother of that. But you did not remember when she was on top of this, uh, uh, bring back our guests, when she was up and down, when she was all over the place. You people liked it. You never, nobody insulted her. Nobody insulted her. But now that uh, we have somebody who is there that is very, <laughs> where if there's any word that is uh, that can be used as uh, incompetence, the, 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 the so-called president is, is, is even worse than that. And they are telling their people, don't say anything, don't speak. And those are the people the Southwest will be comparing to. They will be telling the Igbos, you can come here and say whatever you want to say. They will be telling the Igbos, oh, yes, so ah, some people, those people from that region, they respect their leaders. They, who, which leaders are you respecting? Those who do not have your interests at all. Those who are killing your destiny, even physically and spiritually. They are, they are dealing with you. You want to respect such elders. What kind of elders are you talking about? People who are in their 70s, 60s, people who really enjoyed the, uh, the dividends of democracy in their days. These are the same people that are now plunging the destiny of the younger ones into the sea. They are plunging it, they are sinking it. And you want, you want to be respecting them. People who do not respect your life. You are talking about, you know, trying to respect their status. You want to respect somebody's status and the person does not respect your, your life. Your life and that's their status that you want to respect. Which one is more important to you? So you think that your life is not important so they can treat you anyhow. Anybody who is supporting evil is, is evil as well. Because it is only a witch that will see something that is good and says it's not good. If it is good, we will say it is good. Irrespective of any anything, anywhere the person comes from. So what this Aisha is doing is really if they pepper them. You need to pepper them. You go the go pepper them. You they, they are they are so timid. Just like uh, you know, from from what I was talking about, they will say, "Oh, our leaders, you have to respect them. You have to do this. You have to do that." Those are the people the to wear. Some of the white south wear because we know it's not everybody. It's not good to generalize, but majority of them. Oh, these Igbo people, they don't have respect. They don't have respect. That are even those who are from the other side. They always cover their people, where even if they are doing wrong things, at the at the detriment of your life. You are respecting somebody's status at the detriment of your life. Somebody, if somebody, if you don't respect my life, my life is more important than any other, any other thing. Our lives are more important than any other thing. Not to talk of a status, somebody's status. If really these people less respect you, they will not even do what they did at Lekki and what is happening in Oyibo. What are we talking about? So what she's doing is, you know, the it, 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 mediocrity and incompetence is the order of the day there. So it is, that's why they say it's on Islamic. So it is, it is Islamic for you to be suffering, for people to be stealing money. It is Islamic. But if you, for you to not ask questions, it is not on Islamic. Very hypocritical people. Very hypocrites. These guys are really hypocrites. During Gula Jonathan, you never saw that she's, she's this, she's that. Now because she's, she's eating, she's eating Buhari hard. Of course, nobody's going to come and tell and tell us, say, oh, because a Buhari, because she's not a, she's not from data. They can't even say that because they know the role that this woman played during that time, during Good Luck Jonathan's time. It is only people who are, it's only hypocrites that will say, oh, what was happening? Of course, what was happening then was bad. You can come here and say, oh, don't talk about Good Luck Jonathan. That means all of you are the same. If you talk, tell us that uh, what was happening there was good, that, 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 that people should not talk about that. We know that what is happening now is worse. And that means we are not even moving ahead as a country. We are not moving ahead. If we can go back and be going back to our vomit, what we have rejected, what we thought, what we said that was not good, we'll not be comparing it. No, of course it might be good, but that is not where we are. We need to move ahead more than where we were coming from and more than where we are now. So these people, they are something else. When people come and tell you that they want to go there, we don't say, because their way of reasoning is, is somehow... And that is what they are sending out to the people over there. That's how you cannot, they cannot talk. 
They cannot even talk. Even while their, 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 their lives are at stake, they don't even talk. That is how they have really intimidated them. And they, you think you can do the same. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. For the fact that this woman is not even from that north, of, of course, she grew up there. You know, she's uh, automatically, it's just like she's, 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 you know, she's from that place. But what about the president's wife? Because she's, she's, she's has spoken. She says the truth. Because even at that, at, at, at that time, so when she was speaking, even the same people all over, they were like, who is this woman? Why is this woman doing like this? They are very, very uncomfortable with what she was saying. And some people are calling our manner of names. Pepe them. Why is she useful? Continue to pepe them. They go pepe, you go pepe them. They will continue to get that pepe. Hmm. Well, people like Aisha Yesufu are rare and far between. Far between. There are indeed very few of them nowadays in the northern Nigeria. Where the privileged few and the political class love to keep their youth far away from former education. So as to keep them so servient in perpetuity. perpetuity. Therefore, not only are the said privileged few and the political class greatly threatened by the presence of vocal and enlightened persons like Aisha Yesufu, but also their followers are feeling the heat and therefore are uncomfortable. Nothing bad should happen to her or her colleagues. Hmm. So once you are a Muslim woman, you should submit yourself to oppression, suppression and accept degradation of your self-esteem. Otherwise, you are not a true Muslim. Then it seems... Islam is the worst brand of religion which does not accommodate the type of Aisha. You are the mother and voice of the oppressed, the fighter for the downtrodden. Hmm. Saudi Arabia women defy their government in demonstrations and protest over voting rights and driving of cars, with some women jumping into cars and driving into the city center. They were granted this right. Remember, Saudi Arabia have more female PAG orders than any nation in the world. In Nigeria, where adherents do not understand Arabic or the tenets of the faith, want to become more Islamic than Saudis. Is it not these hijab Muslim women wear to steal and hide in them? In supermarkets, how do these ones honor the hijab? Anyway, theft of public funds is lawful for you people. Exactly, that one is, is Islamic. So, if you are if you are stealing, it is Islamic. But if you talk about or talk against or criticize what is wrong, it is an on Islamic. So, they are getting the heat. My sister, please prepare them all. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.